The Oklahoma Sooners versus the Iowa State Cyclones sees the Iowa State winning 81-68. Is this a shock? Here's my opinion. Next. So my opinion is going to shock all of you guys on why I think this is not a shock about what Iowa State did. No, no, it is not surprising. No, just no. Don't even say Iowa State was the worst team in the Big 12 because in my rankings video, I'm going to tell you who is. And don't say Oklahoma is bad now. Oklahoma is just as good as they were before going into this game. Here's the full recap. I would say 181-68. And, you know, we're going to start with Oklahoma. Christian Doolittle, 14 points. Brady Manick, 17 points. Austin Reeves, 12. B Jamal Bainemi, 10. Alondis Williams, 2. Harmon with 11. And no one else scored. So, you know, this is not a bad loss for the Sooners. You can't, you can't go that route. All right, and, and Oklahoma played not great. I'm not going to say that. Oklahoma played decent. They got good production from Doolittle, Manic, no one else. Being, I mean, from what he's been, the slump he's been on, good production. But they need more from Reeves. They need more from uh, guys like Harmon. They just need those guys to really dish the ball out and do stuff. Oklahoma could not stop Iowa State, and here's who they could not stop. Roger Bolton, 23 points. Tyrese Halbert in 15. George Condon, 8. Jacobson only had 3, and Nixon only had 4. Check to the bench. Solomon Young with 2. Zion Griffin with 2. Terrence Lewis, who hasn't played all season, 10 points. Trey Jackson, 12. It was just a great all-around game from Iowa State in you're not gonna go into Iowa State and go into Hilton Coliseum and blow them out unless you're Kansas. And in my rankings video, I'm really gonna go through Oklahoma, where they stand now. But Iowa State, people are telling me, oh, they're, they're bottom four, they're bottom four, they're bottom two, they're bottom two. I think the lowest they can be right now is seven because. They lost to a TCU team who I said is incredible. They are incredible. They got Nimhard, Desmond Bain, Kevin Samuel. They get production from those guys. They're hard to beat. And Iowa State, they lost to Kansas, and that's Kansas. Kansas is going to be tough to beat, and I don't think Oklahoma can do it. But, you know, they have this whole thing going on with a mascot returning. It's going to be sellout. Kansas coming off a loss could do something for Oklahoma. But in my Big 12 weekly picks that goes up tomorrow... I'll tell you more about that. So, Iowa State, they played great. I mean, I really haven't seen Iowa State play good all season. This was great. This was a whole different team. They go to a zone in Oklahoma that cannot st score. They're playing with momentum last year's team had at Iowa State. And I very well think this team could be in the NCAA tournament. Here's how. Win the Big 12 um Win the Big 12 tournament. That's not too much to ask for Iowa State. They do it when you don't expect them to do it. They're going to have the crowd advantage, just like you saw um, earlier tonight. So I think this is a good Iowa State team and a great Oklahoma team. Like, don't underestimate them. Their only problem is what I thought their problem wouldn't be, and that's the bench. Oklahoma, they started getting whooped when that bench came in. Jalen Hill, Victory Walker, Kirkwaith. They are good players. Zero production came out from them this whole game. You can't afford that. For Oklahoma, you have to have someone on the bench because Iowa State was a 42-25. While Oklahoma did outscore them in the second half, Iowa State just got too big of a jump on them with Halliburton's half-court shot they nailed it in the half to put them up plus something. I don't even remember. But this was a great great game from Iowa State and a decent game from Oklahoma. Not good enough to go on the road and win in the Big 12. You have to play great to do that. <sighs> so peace out, guys.